Hi everyone, Sarah here from the Paper Cut. We are doing our last of our bundle classes from our mini May event. Um, so it's a, the honeycomb class this morning, which is this class kit. So if you have that, open it up. Um, I will be on today after on our regular page. Now, they say that I can stream both my regular page and my class group page for comments sold. So I might try that. Um, it's been a learning week and we've been trying all different stuff. So, but I've been trying it with you guys, so that's good. Um, anyways, so I'm thinking this class will be done by 11. So I told them approximately 11 o'clock that we would be on. Um, so then as soon as I'm done here, You'll give me five minutes or so, and because I have to show my helpers what to do, Ron will be here helping, um, bringing me all the stuff to show you for the sale. So I need a few minutes to tell them all what's going on, but I think I have it pretty organized. More organized than the last time, that's for sure. And it's easier for you guys to know what you all get almost like right away. Just remember that your cart will expire tomorrow, so you do need to pay for it. If you're one of my credit card people, I've talked to some of you already, um, and just know that I will get to you like on Monday. Don't don't panic or anything. I extended your carts. So if there's anybody else that needs to be credit card, um, let me know. Now somebody said that they thought you could pay credit card, but I don't. I looked in my settings, like I don't have a credit card processor set up. So I think you can pay by credit card, but it's only through your PayPal account. So right now the comment sold is only taking PayPal. If you need to pay strictly by credit card, then just you know, get in touch with me before Monday, like email me today and I can extend your cart and we can take care of all that. So anyways, let's get to class so then I can semi get to the live sale on time. So let's go down to the table. Okay, so we should be down on the table pretty soon. My camera always has a little bit of lag time. Um, there we are, we're down on the table. Anyway, so these are the cards that we're doing. Um, they all have to use our, they're all using our honeycomb dies. And then also, the one is using our new mini slimline honeycomb layer. Wow. And then we have our new word dies, which are be happy, thank you, and be kind. Now, if you're missing anything, just let me know. Oh yeah, I can kind of read comments there if I had glasses on. Um, I've got a big computer that I can. It's, I can't see comments it's, on this one. Oh, oh, you can take that one, Mom. That's okay. I'm on my. Okay. My little so, anyways, one. I've got a computer looking at me that's pretty big, and if I had glasses, <laughs> I could probably read the comments. No. Um, <laughs> so, but maybe we'll have to work on that so it gets closer to me so I can read the comments maybe too. Get right up here. So, anyways, but we're using you know all of our honeycomb stuff plus some new words. Again, if you're ever missing anything, just email me and I'll get that out in the mail to you. Let's go ahead and get started with our Be Kind. So we'll put the other two off and we'll leave our Be Kind out. Um, with this one, you have the mini honeycomb layer, which if you didn't weed it, you can go ahead and weed it. See, it weeds pretty easy. Now, die cutting this, I did use the metal plate and because it is so intricate it did take um, a couple times going through I used the metal plate and I usually this is what I normally do if you go at an angle through your machine you don't get the big clunking where if you go straight on you'll get bigger clunking so I'll usually run it through and this is an 80 pound stock that we're using um, I'll usually run it through and then sometimes I'll take the outside off. So I ran it through on a piece of paper and then I'll run it through again. And it, there was one spot like right in about here that wasn't die cutting. So I took a post-it note and I just put it on the back of the die and then I was fine. But it's just because it's got so much going on on there. So weed that out. 
makes a huge mess. That's why we didn't weed them for you. Otherwise, we would have had little honeycombs all over our office for ever. Um, and then we're using, well, a scored card, which I think this one is white gold, I think. Our brushed gold. Now, we did use our brushed gold that had a little bit of ticking, but they weren't supposed to give it to you if, you know, make sure you cover it covers up, your layer covers up any of your ticking. Um, and then we have, this is one of our new ones called Champagne. We have two Champagne nows. One is a Curious Metallic, and they're spelled differently. And then this one is new too. It's the Venus Star Dream 2.0. So on this one, we're just going to take our honeycomb die, and we're going to use a terracotta ink pad or you can use an orange, or you could use whatever color you want. And I have my inks have so much color on them from yesterday. Okay, so let me just test this one before I get going. But we're just going to kind of use the dye as a um, stencil. And you can hold it in place if you want with a piece of removable tape. Because you can use this dye even after you use it as a stencil. You can use it um, for something else. You can just use it for another project. So you're just going to brush blend on there. Not solid. You know, you want it to kind of fade in and out. But you can get it as dark as you want. And now when we pull that out, then we've got our honeycombs on there. Now I probably did a bigger area than I had the first time, but I was just kind of showing you. So yeah, you can do your honeycombs however you want, as little or few as you want, just kind of randomly. Make sure to always have some going off the edge of your paper. My daughter's calling me. I can Ooh. see that on my phone, but I'm not going to answer her. So I hope it's not an emergency. So then we have that, and remember you're covering part of that up anyways. So you can save your honeycomb layer. You can color it the rest of the way if you want, but you can use this as a layer. This is a slimline card, so it layers on a slimline card, or you can even do it as a layer on an A2 card if you wanted to, just down one side, or you can even cut it down the middle and down the sides and use it two layers on two different A2 cards or on two slimline cards too. You don't have to keep it within this frame. You can cut it up. So I'm just going to set that aside. Now we're basically just going to layer our card. So let's get my pieces here. For your bees, let's go to our bees really quick. Um, I just took my bees. I kind of left them intact. And I do like my scotch tape. So I just take a little scotch tape. Mom, are you texting Leah? Yes. Okay. So we'll find out. We'll make sure it's not an emergency. We'll text her and we'll just say, um, is that directly on the card? Is what directly on the card? This is on the layer. Um, well, geez, I can't rip my tape. It's super strong. So I'm not understanding the question of is that directly on the card. The brush blending is on the curie or the um, layer, but you could do it directly on the card if you wanted to skip the layering. So if my be my bees kind of stayed together, my cream one, so I'm just putting a little scotch tape behind them so they really stay together. And you only need one of them, but then you're going to punch out one of your gold ones. And I punched this guy totally out. And then I just put the gold outline on there. <laughs> I'm still weeding, Valerie, that's okay. I forgot to do my homework. That's okay, I talk a lot. I'm sure you'll catch up. No worries, she didn't uh, 
mean to interrupt. She's looking for the eggs benedict recipe. Oh, I forgot to give. Yeah, my daughter asked me for the eggs benedict <laughs> recipe, and I forgot to give that to her um, yesterday. We'll send it as soon as we get home. Right. Yeah. If she. Yeah. Just tell her the ingredients if you remember them. So I think that's why she's wondering. So she can go to the grocery what? store. What did you say? I think she's wondering what the ingredients are so she can okay. go to the grocery store. Okay. So anyway, sorry about that. Not an emergency, just a cooking emergency. So the B, so you do have an extra B. And I didn't do my homework ahead either. So just make sure that you, now you can weed everything. Hard-boiled eggs. Oops, I got, um, sticky on my finger, which isn't a good thing when you're weeding. I should have done that before. Six hard-boiled eggs. Eight. Eight. We have a family favorite um, recipe that we always make for breakfast, and it's called it's like a fake eggs benedict. <laughs> so it's not with a hollandaise sauce or anything, but it's super easy. Um, bacon, fried bacon. And I make it from heart, and she asked me for the recipe, and I was supposed to send that to her last night when I got home from here, and yes, I forgot. Bad mom. What do you use to make the sauce, Sarah? My recipe, I don't know. Cream of mushroom soup. Okay. And heavy whipping cream. And half and half. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. So you guys get to hear about my, our, our um, fake eggs benedict. You're missing the bum. Oh, Susan, I think I you told me that in an email, so I already have that noted. So I will get you those. Oh, share the recipe with you. <laughs> yeah. We'll post it later. Yeah, I'll post it later when I actually have it. It is, um, it's hard, no, so don't, don't go off of this, but I'll actually post it here later for you. <laughs> but, and it sounds kind of weird. So now I'm just gonna assemble and I'll just talk while I'm assembling. So it is eight hard like boiled. eight hard boiled eggs and you slice them and you lay them in the bottom of a, either a seven by 10 or a nine by 12 pan or nine by 13 pan. And then um, the sauce that goes on it is like a can of cream of mushroom soup, one cup of heavy whipping cream, and I think, or a half cup of heavy whipping cream and one cup of half and half. Not exactly sure. I have to get those measurements, but you put that in a saucepan, you know, whisk it up good. Put that over the hard boiled eggs. Meanwhile, you fry some onions. Um, so they're caramelized pretty good and then you put those over the top of the soup, and then it's two cups of cheddar cheese, bacon bits, salt and pepper, and then you have it, you serve it over English muffins. So it's yummy, and it's not my recipe. It's, it's like, mine. it's my mom's recipe that she we got served from it in the restaurant, actually. somebody else that she got a lot of recipes from. So anyways, Oh, I did actually, you know what? what? I started talking and then I forgot what I was doing. So you do need to make sure that you have all the color on this because I did actually use this as a layer on here. So I have to go back and add more color. So I did not brush the dark brown piece, sorry Donna. I did kind of, yeah, I kind of got off topic. Let's just put it that way. So I brushed this whole thing 
and I layered that. Oh yeah, low calorie, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so I did take this and I put it on here. Um, so I'm just using my dot, micro dot adhesive. dots and then I did lay this on my cardstock I'm sorry I got totally off track see I can't talk and do two things at one time somebody said you need to talk more <laughs> but apparently I can't do that so I did use my honeycomb piece on top of there and then I just trimmed it from the back now you could have done it off to one side um, so you could have two of them to use, or you could use these extra little pieces. But What paper was used for the two sets of bees? Did you already answer oh, that? Oh, the paper used for the two sets of bees was the white gold curious metallic mm -hmm. and the brushed gold mirror. And also the... Um, all the supplies used are in your class kit too. Sometimes I do get those wrong though too because I am doing those at home in the middle of the night. But I try to double check them. Jeez. <laughs> Share the recipe. Okay. So now I attach this piece to here and then I popped that up. Are you brushing the dark brown piece? Somebody asked. I that. did not brush the dark brown. I just attached the <clears throat> the brushed honeycomb to the dark brown. Okay. So I did not brush the dark brown. Sorry, I think that's what Meryl oh, was oh, asking really? before. So this is low calorie, right? Yeah. Right. I'm answering from my computer because I can't see the comments on your computer. Oh, that's fine. I don't know. I told him I was answering as me rather than you. <clears throat> okay, and then I did use foam tape to pop that up. Now I have my foam tape here, and usually I have my foam tape pre-cut so I don't have to spend time foam taping. Well, yeah, that didn't happen. So, but I do have it. <laughs> <Heavy cream. laughs> yeah, me too. So it's super good. I'll get it posted. I have to get it to my daughter first, though. Yeah. So <clears throat> then I have the bee kind and the bee that are going to go on there. But yeah, so you serve that just over English muffins. So you just, it's not like it cuts or anything. You just use a spoon to scoop it out. And yeah, you serve it over English muffins. <laughs> or crumpets if you want to <laughs> get fancy. <laughs> at the in at the in and at the at the restaurant we always serve crumpets. Unless we couldn't find them. Well, I don't know what a crumpet is. It's so. almost like an English muffin. I don't know what the difference is either. How long has the paper cut been around, Sarah? We have been in business for twenty-six since, years since nineteen ninety-six. So, what does that make it? Twenty-five years. Oh yeah, I think we just had our twenty-five year anniversary. Mm -hmm. Boy, I'm getting sticky fingers. You guys have me off my game. Okay, <laughs> we'll just say my daughter has me off my game because she asked, because we wanted to make sure it wasn't an emergency in the middle of class. She says, that's a great start. Thank you, Leah. I told her I'd get her all the rest of the information later, but I get okay. her shopping list. So our be kind. It's a good day to remember to be kind. I've got adhesive on the front of my bee. <sighs> so 
See, even stuff happens to the teacher. So we have our be kind. Yeah, just a little bit off my game. That's okay. We'll get going. Maybe I got up too early. It was like 5.30 that I got up and got right on the computer so I could get you guys the daily deals. Anyways, I appear to have, oh, let's go, I just turned mine over. Let's go on to the blue one so I can do the splattering, which is what's on, on the table already. What do, you, what do you want to do? I'm sorry. Nothing. Okay. I'm going to do the splattering. Okay. <clears throat> I wasn't listening, so. Yep, we're just making cards. So on this one, you have your white slimline card. Oh, and I'm missing a piece in mine. Hopefully you're all not missing a piece. Crapola. On what? I think everybody's missing it. What? You're all missing your blue layer, so it's up to you whether you want to put it together or not. So we're putting it together without the blue layer. Hey, Ron. Ron's here. Everybody say hi to Ron. Hi, um, Ron. So, but we're going to start with our white layer and our mixative. If you want to. Now I have little splatters in the back of here. Um, yeah, I think everybody's missing their blue layer. I apologize because I just opened a kit and it's not in there either. So I'm sure you're all placing an order, so I'll just send it with your order. So I'm just going to put mine together without the blue layer. But if you want to wait, you can wait for the blue layer. Anyways. Um, I just put some silver mixative in here, so it's up to you if you want a splatter. Um, I dip into my silver mixative and I take a block and then I just kind of tap it to splatter my silver on the background. So up to you if you want to do that part or if you want to do it in a different color or not do it at all. So then I'm just going to kind of set that aside and let it dry. Actually, I might flip over my mat to another semi-clean one. While we're waiting for that to dry, we can take our words and weed them out, which you might have already done. So, and then... Um, so yeah, just weed out your words and we're going to attach our white one to our silver one. And well, if you're done doing that, if you're faster than me, you can go ahead and start laying out your honeycombs. And you can lay them out however you want. So it did take me, that was probably the longest part of this card, was deciding how to lay out my honeycombs. And my fingers, I have to get a baby wipe because my fingers are a little, um... Do you want me to go get some? No, I've got some baby wipes. My fingers are sticky. time it is oh, 10.25. Oh, okay. We're doing good for time. The size of the blue layer, hang on, let me measure. I think it was three and three and three eighths by five and seven eighths. It's just slightly bigger than the silver one. Okay. So, hey. Okay. 
Wendy Little says, hi, Ron. Hi, Wendy. What paper is the blue layer? Somebody yeah. is asking. She said she might have some at her house. Valerie Brown. Yeah, it's just like a teal metallic. A teal metallic? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so weed out your words. I did offset my words slightly. And my fingers are still sticky. Oh. Okay, there we go. What was the size of the blue layer? Um, it is five and three eighths by, or three and three eighths by five and seven eighths. If you just want to cut some blue at home. Three Otherwise, I'll send them with your order. Three and three eighths by five. And seven eighths. By five and seven eighths. Okay, so you're going to attach your words together and offset them just a little. And then you're just going to start attaching your honeycombs onto your layer that you did your silver, um, that you did your silver splattering on, if you did that. Ron, your girlfriends are all saying hi. <laughs> I'm a star. A bunch of them. And if you don't want to use the white layer and you like it better with the silver, thank you, you just go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Did you say what dye you used for the bee? It is adorable. Oh, the bee is from Impression Obsession. Okay. <clears throat> so it is listed on the um, on the product sheet. Okay, oh, yeah. so we have that. So now you're gonna attach your um, honeycombs together. Again, you can do it however you want. Um, but you're going to end up trimming off. So if you start with one honeycomb and then just kind of build from there, try to make them all even at the bottom. So even if you want to take a piece of paper along the bottom and just kind of lay it down so it's straight, um, you can do that. And if you attach it kind of to the back. But that was the problem that I had the first time. Um, so if I just attach it to the back, if I have just a straight piece of scratch paper and I just attach it to the back, then I make a straight line. So the first time I did this, I didn't have a straight line going. But if you have a piece of paper down there, then you kind of keep a straight line. Robin Bennett already got the bee die. Oh, awesome, Robin. <clears throat> I just can't get over my fingers being sticky. So I am going to do something, oh, I won't. I will use my big tape gun. And I'm just going to go ahead and put tape on the back of all of my honeycombs so I don't have to keep picking up my honeycombs. Okay, there we go, done with the taping, and I am just going to start with one of my light, now don't stick them down really heavy in case you decide to move something around. Like I said, this was the, this is what took me the longest when designing this card, was designing how my honeycombs go. So right now, I am just going to copy what I did the first time. Let's 
see. Because once you get them on there, then you're going to pick it up. See, now my honeycombs are straight. So you're going to actually pick it up and you're going to um, trim off the ends. Okay. Sarah, do you have the bee dye on your site even though it's an aisle? I do not have the bee dye on my site. Sorry. And the blue teal was, I think it was called Peacock. Okay, so we have that done. And now we're gonna attach the thank you. Like I said, if you wanted the silver thank you, that was perfectly fine too. And then you could have saved the white thank you for something else. Mm -hmm. Rebecca says she'll let it slide this time. <laughs> so yeah, I will get you all the blue um, with your orders. Or if you don't place an order, I'll try and get those out, but it's going to take me a bit. But otherwise, for mine, I'm just going to layer the white on the silver and then layer it on the front of the card. Because nobody that I'm going to send it to is going to know that I actually had a piece of blue. Um, but I will send you your blue with your order. Usually I'm pretty good, I check them, but that didn't happen this time, obviously. It looks pretty. So yeah, it's, it's fine without the blue, but yeah. So there we go. There's the thank you card. Oh, that's Nancy YB cut the middle out of the silver so she can use it for something else. No, that's pretty smart, Nancy. Yeah, that's what I do sometimes too. So anyways, okay, so now getting to, since we're in between cards, does anybody have an anniversary or a birthday on February 9th? I'll let that one go for just a minute while you guys are working. But yeah, wondering if anybody has an anniversary or a birthday on February 9th. February 9th? Yeah. I you can type that in. Okay. I'm just going to start weeding out my last card. Well, and you can pull your stuff out for your last card. And um, if you're done weeding, you can actually color your little flowers. Or I just used, I don't know what I used on mine. Oh yeah, I used yellow, orange, pink. February 9th, right? Yep, birthday or anniversary on February 9th. I think we're going to go with, well, well, let's see if anybody else has February 9th. Otherwise, we'll go with the closest. February 5th, February 11th, my grandmother's, my grandma's birthday, two of grandma's birthdays. That's um, Ron and my anniversary. So that's why I'm looking for February 9th. My grandpa's birthday, you've got a couple of grandmas and a <laughs> couple of, and at least one grandpa. Yeah. <clears throat> I think we'll go with the person with the closest to February 9th. The, actual class person. So we'll go with Meryl. So Meryl, you are the prize winner for today. 
How many years for Sarah and Ron? Um, 1997 or no, 96. It was 96. the same time. Um, well, married for 20, 25, yeah. but dating for since 83, so whatever that is. It's a long time. 28 years? No. Oh, actually, Emily Henry. Sorry, Meryl. Well, I'll give you one, too, since I already said it. But um, Emily Henry and Meryl will both win a prize because I already said that. So, but Emily, let me have you pick a number between one and 87. Oh, 38 years you and Ron have been together. So Emily, pick a number between one and 87. So anyways, do your, do your be kinds, make sure to weed those out. Number 26. Yes. So number 26 is Stephanie Hoffman. You are our other winner for the day. Congratulations, Stephanie. ladies. We'll send a prize with your, with your order. Stephanie. Or without if you don't have one in house. Stephanie Hoffman, H-O-F-F-M-A-N-N. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I can't remember if there's two ends. Yeah. So you should be weeding out your be happy, and then you should also be coloring your flowers. And you can attach your be happy together. And again, if you don't want to double layer them, you don't have to. You can save your be happy for something else. Okay, so I'm going to color my flowers really quick. And it was just a super quick color. And I'm coloring right on, and these stamps are from Endless Creations. They um, used to do shows with us, so they were going to retire from the show circuit, but they're still selling stamps. And I think she just designed a bunch of new stamps too. So they're still around, um, they're just, they weren't going to do shows, and then the shows were all canceled last year, so that was kind of perfect timing for deciding to get out of shows. But these are her little stamps. And if you want to, like I sent you... Um, just clear bling, but you could always use alcohol ink and color them. Eh, I should have planned my coloring a little bit better, but that's okay. And I used a little bit of gray on the bees, but I don't have a gray gray um, one up here with me. Now on this one, before we can attach our layers together, we need to again build our honeycombs. <clears throat> so go ahead and build your honeycomb layer and you can do that however you want. Again, this that's the hardest part of the card when designing it, was deciding where my honeycombs were going to go. And I'm having you put your honeycombs on there first because um, 
you're going to end up trimming off your sides. So again, just wherever your honeycombs, wherever you want to do your honeycombs in whatever order. I know the honeycomb dies turned out really cute. Um, Eden from Texas, of, of not last year, but the year before. Or was it last year? I don't know. She gave me a sample of a triple honeycomb that she had done, just like hand done it, and asked if I would do them. And I finally, finally did it this year. So I like them. They're cute. I've been having fun with them. So you're attaching your honeycombs, and then you're trimming from the back. <clears throat> Okay. Stephanie's been married for 52 years and dated for five years before we wow. were babies. That's a long time. I said she's just like us. We were married nearly 58 years. And then you're going to layer together. <clears throat> Did I use both honeycomb dies for this card? Um, Hang on a second. I might have just used the smaller set. Yes, I did just use the smaller set for both of these cards. So now that means I'm going to have to do some cards with the bigger set. So you ladies might be seeing some more honeycomb cards just with the bigger set. Just the smaller ones you used, right? Yep, I just used the smaller ones. This is the Black Mirror card, so that's the one that's on special. Oops, I almost hit my tripod leg. Oops, that would be bad. I usually don't have it on that. My tape gun on the inside of my tripod leg. So, and then I did just layer my B happy. So you can see that the B has, you know, the B and then the E, e are separate. said she ordered the stamp set too. Ordered the stamp too. <clears throat> so go ahead and attach those together if you want and then attach them to the front of your card. And then you can attach your gems onto your flowers. There we go. We're almost done with our cards. Oh yeah, I did color some of my um, gems yellow for my bee. 
So yeah, feel free if you want yellow gems, either use your own or you can use alcohol inks to color your gems yellow. I gave you just um, clear gems. Oh no, I actually, I gave you some yellow gems too. So I've got yellow gems for the bees and clear gems for the flowers. <clears throat> so that is our class and I am going to not sign off quite yet. I'm just going to finish these and then I'm going to lay the cards out. And then after I sign off, um, I'm going to for sure be back on the paper cut site, but I might be back on both sites for the comments sold. I've never tried that, but I might give that a try to see if I can be on both stream on both sites for the live sale. Everybody's busy. So we have our, I'm going to wait to do my bees gray. I'm going to wait to put my yellow ones on because I'm going to color my bees gray. <clears throat> so our three honeycomb cards today are those three cards. And thank you for joining me. And we will see you in a little bit for our live sale at around 11 o'clock I'll be on. I'm not even sure what time it is right now. Stop streaming. <laughs>